Service providers are facing incredible changes from increased competition, IoT, the rapid adoption of 5G, and upgrading infrastructures to handle it all. To help service providers address all these changes, Cisco has built a distributed 5G-ready Telco DC solution with ACI. Cisco worked with service provider customers and identified the need for scalability of network resources, automation of policy across the data center, and transport networks. To address these, Cisco added the support of SRMPLS handoff to transport network, which enables new 5G telco transport network to data center integration with ACI and SRMPLS, extends policy orchestration from the data center to transport, provides a scalable distributed data center, and supports end-to-end -end network slicing for 5G. With these new features, service providers can have improved automation, security, visibility and scale, and true investment protection. In this demonstration, you will see how these enhancements are put to use in the real world. Here's a fabric with four leaf nodes, numbered 101 to 104. We are going to configure SR MPLS handoff on leaf 103 and 104 that are connected to transport network. The objective is to be able to exchange VRF and prefixes between ACI fabric and transport network using SR MPLS handoff. Our first step will be to configure the SR handoff. To do this, we create SR MPLS infra L3 out in the infra tenant. This enables us to create a BGP EVPN session and BGP labeled unicast session. The BGP EVPN session will advertise the tenant prefixes and VRF label with the DCPE router. The BGP labeled unicast session will provide the connectivity between the border leaf and data center PE. After that, we will configure SR MPLS VRF L3 out for each VRF that needs to get extended to transport network via SR MPLS infra L3 out. Let's look at the configuration. Begin by logging into the ACI APIC controller. Go to Tenants, Infra, then Networking, and select SR MPLS Infra L3 Outs. We see the overview of the solution and configuration. Scroll down to set up the prerequisites and enter the required information. Specify the name, pod, layer three domain, DCPE address, and remote ASN. Select an existing MPLS custom QoS policy or create a new one. We will select an existing QoS policy. With this policy, we set the QoS rules for incoming and outgoing packets to both inside and outside the fabric. Next, we select the BFD multi-hop policy. Make sure it is enabled for faster convergence. Click Next and then configure the border leaf switches. The transport data plane could be MPLS or SRMPLS, depending on what is supported between ACI and DCPE. Multiple interface types are supported. Select BFD single hop for the interface policy for faster convergence. Next, we will configure the two nodes, LEAF 103 and LEAF 104. Select LEAF 103 as the node ID and then set its router ID and related parameters. Finally, set up the Ethernet properties. Now, we will create this new node and repeat the process for LEAF 104 using the values shown. Click Finish. The new configuration is added to ACI APIC controller. From here, you can add or edit configurations, as well as verify that your sessions are established and up and running. Here we see that the BGP EVPN session is up on LEAF 103. Similarly, BGP labeled unicast and BGP IPv4 session is up as well on LEAF 103. We can also see that no prefixes are being received from the data center on DCPE because we haven't created SRMPLS VRF L3 out. Let's do that now. Create SRMPLS VRF L3 out for the VRF that needs to be extended towards DCPE by navigating in the menu from Tenants to VEPC, Networking, SRMPLS VRF L3 out, and then select Create SRMPLS VRF L3 out. 
attach the VRF L3 out to SRMPLS Infra L3 out created along with route maps. Under Outbound, you can specify a route map to select which prefixes you want to advertise from the data center fabric. By default, no prefixes are advertised out. Likewise, under Inbound, you can specify a route map to select which prefixes you want to accept from the DCPE. By default, all prefixes are accepted. Under VRF L3 Out, you also define external EPG, subnets, and contract to define security policies. Route maps can be configured to set BGP color community for prefixes. SR based transport can use this value to set SR policies. Make sure VRF is configured with matching BGP export and import route targets on both ACI and DCPE. With that submitted, we should be able to see prefixes advertised from the data center on DCPE. And we should now be able to ping the VEPC server connected to LEAFS 101 and 102. Success! Our ACI to SR MPLS handoff is successful. For more information about Cisco Segment Routing MPLS, visit the ACI homepage.